dear students me sima paul like to begin with a new topic adaptation in animals in the last class we discussed about adaptation in plants we have learned about the meaning of habitat and adaptation in this class i will discuss about evolution and how the animals adapt themselves to survive in this habitat so let us look up to the essential key points number 1 evolution number 2 habitat number 3 adaptation based on habitat terrestrial aquatic amphibians aerial arboreal number 4 adaptation based on eating habits a herbivores b carnivores c omnivores number 5 food chain and lastly we will discuss about care and concern for animals evolution so let us first see the definition of evolution in biology evolution is the change in the characteristic of a species over several generations and relies on the process of natural selection this can be well explained by the theory forwarded by the naturalist and biologist charles darwin and lamarck both of them placed before the world an interesting theory of evolution and thus proved that most of the animals in this planet adjusted themselves by adapting the features to suit or fit themselves in the habitat even man also evolved to fit in this environment from ape we transformed to homo sapiens and so the giraffe gained its height in course of time to survive in this world many species extincted from this world as they could not fit and adjust themselves to its environment like dodo the bird dinosaur the large lizard mammoth the extraordinary large elephant and saber-toothed lions and tigers adaptation based on habitat in ecology a habitat is the type of natural environment in which a particular species of organism lives a species habitat is those place where the species can find food shelter protection and mates for reproduction it is characterized by both physical and biological features terrestrial animals let us see the definition of terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals which include desert region polar region and the forest region forest region is again subdivided into two tropical rainforest and deciduous forest Royal Bengal tiger, jaguar, black panther, brown bear belongs to the tropical rainforest. Whereas lion, deer, giraffe, zebra belongs to the deciduous forest. Adaptation in animals on land. Number 1, desert. Desert animals drink lots of water at a time. Camels have a thick pad of fat under their foot. to prevent their feet from sinking the hum stores fat in it big ears and eyelashes to protect them from intense heat and sandstorm go for estivation number 2 polar region thick layer of fat called blubber to preserve body heat thick fur to keep their body warm camouflaging go for hibernation number 3 forest use bright coloring and distinctive markings to scare predators crafty camouflage most of the animals are nocturnal in nature desert animals nocturnal desert animals keep cool by being active at night whereas some other desert animals get away from the sun's heat 
by digging underground burrows. Example, paracats. Other common adaptation seen in desert animals include big ears, light colored coats, humps to store fat and adaptation that help to conserve water. Nocturnal is a word that describes an animal that is active at night and sleep during the day. Desert animal like the jackrabbit can get rid of a lot of heat through their oversized ears. An animal's core body temperature is warm. So to prevent overheating, blood vessels carry warm blood from the core to the exposed blood vessels of the ears where heat can be released. Light color reflects heat, so the desert animals have light colored coats. Polar region. Penguins have webbed feet for powerful swimming. Their bodies are streamlined to reduce drag in water. Penguins have to keep high body temperature to remain active. They have thick skin and lots of fat known as blubber under their skin to keep warm in cold weather. Polar bear's fur is white in color which acts as a good camouflage in a land of ice and snow. The bottom of their paws is covered in fur to retain heat, prevent them from slipping on the ice and to act as snowshoes. Their paws are also webbed to aid in swimming. They have long necks in comparison to other bears to help with swimming. They have thick layers of fat and fur for the insulation against the cold. Forest region. Large animals like lions and elephants live on the plains for a good reason. Snakes grow larger in the rainforest than elsewhere because of their ability to slither along the ground through the trees. Example, anacondas. Rainforest animals and insects often use bright coloring and distinctive markings to scare predators. Animals have crafty camouflaging ability and they become invisible to a predator or to prey is an advantage in the tropical rainforest. Aquatic animals. Let us look up to the definition of aquatic animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Adaptation in animals in water. Fish. Fish have gills to breathe. Streamlined body have fins and tail. Scales on their body. Fish have gills instead of lungs to breathe in the water. They have streamlined body to cut through the water easily. They have fins and tail to move faster. The tail helps to change direction in the water. The scales prevent their body from the water. Octopus Number 1. Have tentacles. Number 2. Good eyesight. Number 3. Camouflage. Number 4. Use poisonous chemicals. Octopus camouflage, which is when an animal blends into its surroundings. They can change their own color and texture to hide. If they are attacked, they can use poisonous chemicals to hide from the predators and kill their prey. Crab Number 1. Eight regular legs. Number 2. Calipeds. Number 3. Have exoskeleton. All crabs have eight regular legs and two specially adapted legs known as the calipeds or claws. These calipeds have several important uses. They help them to feed and to catch prey. They are also useful when it comes to fighting and defending themselves from the predators. Snail. Number one, have gills. Number two, shells. Number three, tentacles. Number four, muscular foot. 
Snails adapt to an aqueous habitat through the use of gills that take in oxygen given off by underwater plants while filtering nutrients into their system through breathing water. The large tentacles with eyes at the end of them for vision and two small tactile tentacles to fill around their habitat for food and shelter. Snails have a mucus laden muscular foot adaptation that flexes and contracts allowing for the movement in the water. Snail use a wrap stung known as radula lined with tiny rough teeth to grab food particles. Aquatic Mammal Number 1. Streamlined Body Number 2. Large Size and Bed Number 3. Flippers Number 4. High and Valvular Nostrils Number 5. Large Lungs Aquatic Mammals are large size and weigh up to 150 tons. Large size reduces skin friction and loss of heat and supports in water due to buoyancy. The forelimbs are transformed into skin covered unjointed paddles or flippers. The broad and flattened paddles or flippers serve as balancers and provide stability during swimming. Large unlobulated and high elastic lungs ensure taking down maximum air. The nostrils are placed far back on the top of head so that animals can breathe air without raising head much out of water. Turtles Number 1. Have flippers Number 2. Good eyesight Number 3. Have rough shell Turtles are recognizable animals which have a shell, four well-developed limbs and no teeth. Turtles have sleek and paddle-like forelimbs to propel them swiftly in the water. They have good night vision. This enables them to see a light spectrum that is invisible to human being. Now let us see few of the pictures of the marine life and we also like to discuss about some of the essential points regarding them. Number one, fish. Fish can communicate in their underwater environments through the use of acoustic communication. The production of sound as a means of communication among fish is most often used in the context of feeding, aggression or courtship behavior. Number two, snails. Snails protect themselves from predators by taking coverage beneath their shell and through the use of the upper column, a door-like part that closes the opening of the shell. Number three, octopus. They have eight arms. The two rear most arms function as legs. They are used to push off the ocean floor. Octopus can even lose an arm and later regenerate it, meaning regrow it. Number four, mammals. Mammals give birth to young ones. They do not lay eggs like fish. The young ones are known as calf. The aquatic mammals feed their milk to their young ones. Number five, crab. Crabs are generally covered with a thick exoskeleton composed primarily of highly mineralized chitin and armed with a single pair of claws. Number six, squid. Squid have a very good eyesight and even be able to see in color. 
The two tentacles are specially adapted for feeding and use them to grab their prey. In order to protect themselves, squid let out a black ink which darken and clouds the water, making it difficult for predators to see them. And lastly, turtle. Turtle hatchlings are carnivores in nature, while the adults are omnivores. Their beaks and jaws are powerful, enabling them to crush, chew or tear food with ease. Hard and rough shells provide them with a protection. They have quick reflexes that allow them to bundle up inside when they come under the threat from some other animal. Amphibian animals. Let us see the definition of amphibian animals. Animals that live both in water and on land are called amphibians. In order to live on land, amphibians replaced gills with another respiratory organ, the lung. Other adaptation includes the skin that prevents loss of water, eyelids that allow them to adapt to vision outside of the water, an ear drum developed to separate the external ear from the middle ear and a tail that disappears in the adulthood. These are the pictures of some of the amphibians. Number 1. Frog Frogs have big and strong hind legs to jump first. They have webbed feet to swim in the water. Some frogs are poisonous too. There are a great variety of frogs. Among them, golden poison frog is the most deadliest one. It can kill 20 people in a minute. Number 2. Toad Toads are well adapted for life on land. With thicker, more protective skin than most frogs. Their slightly webbed back feet help them dig into the soil to protect them in colder temperature. Number 3. Salamander Salamander have short, flattened limbs. They can swim well too. Their short, laterally compressed tails, high and narrow rather than round or flattened, along with their juveline, fleshy tail fins, aid in their swimming efficiency. Number 4. Newets They breathe through their skin and thus they do not need to open their mouth while underwater, saving them from choking. Some species of this family have slimy bodies and thus can squeeze out of their predator's grubs. Adaptation in animals that live in land and in water. Number 1. Frogs have webbed feet. Number 2. Moist skin to breathe in water, lungs to breathe on land, strong hind legs to jump on land. Aerial animals. Let us look up to the definition of aerial animals. Aerial animals are basically any animals who can naturally fly, glide or soar in the air. Adaptation in animals in air. Number 1. Have wings and tail. Number 2. Straight line body. Number 3. Hollow bones. Number 4. Body covered with feathers. Birds have wings to fly high up. Their tail acts as a rudder and also helps to change the direction in the air. Streamlined body helps them to cut through the air easily. The hollow bones help them to become more lighter in the air. Their body is covered with feather. There are two kinds of feathers. One is the body feather which covers the whole of the body and another is the flight feather which covers the wings and the tail. Let us see some of the fastest bird in the world. Number 1. Peregrine falcon 
peregrine falcon can fly at a speed of 390 km per hour. The fastest flying bird, the fastest member of the animal kingdom with a diving speed of 389 km per hour. Number B. The golden eagle is one of the best known birds of prey in the northern hemisphere. It is the most widely distributed species of eagle. Number 3. Albatross. Albatross aloft can be a spectacular sight. This feathered giant have the longest wingspan of any bird up to 11 feet. This bird can travel 10,000 miles in a single journey. Albatross can indeed sleep while flying. Number 4. The Common Swift The Common Swift is a medium-sized bird and can fly fast too. Swift have very short legs which they use primarily to clinging vertical surfaces. They never settle voluntarily on the ground. Arboreal Animals Let us look up to the definition of arboreal animals. Arboreal animals are creatures who spend the majority of their lives in trees. They eat, sleep and play in the tree canopy. Examples of arboreal animals are monkeys, lemurs, koalas, birds, snakes, chameleons, etc. Adaptation in animals on trees Number 1. Small bodies with strong, elongated and muscular limbs. Number 2. Have claws and some other have adhesive pads to grip branches. Number 3. Long muscular tail for holding the branches. Here are some of the pictures of the arboreal animals. Sloth bear and the koalas have sharp and pointed claws to grip pen. They have highly flexible ankle joints allowing the foot to point backwards so claws can hook into the tree bark. Monkeys have muscular tail which help them to balance their body when they jump from one branch to another branch of a tree. Adaptation based on food habit Different animals eat different kinds of food. Some eat plants, some eat flesh, while others eat both. To suit different eating habits, animals show different adaptations. Based on these animals can be grouped as herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Adaptation based on eating habits. Number 1. Herbivores. Sharp and strong teeth. Bodies are designed to only feed on plants. Herbivorous animals have alkaline saliva. Number 2. Carnivores. Sharp canine teeth. Acidic saliva. Have sharp claws to rip off the flesh have sharp talons and pointed beaks in case of carnivorous bird. Omnivores have teeth specially designed for eating either meat or plants. Carnivorous animals possess acidic saliva which means that they are capable of starting to digest things essentially as soon as they put them in their mouth. Herbivore animals, in contrast, have alkaline saliva, which means the digestion process doesn't begin as promptly. Omnivorous animals do have alkaline saliva. Food chain. Now let us observe the diagram carefully. We can see in the diagram that the producer is the grass, and you all know, students, that. When the plants grow, plants prepare their food in the presence of sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. So, the grasshopper is the primary consumer of the grass. The frog, who is the secondary consumer, eats the grasshopper. And again, the tertiary consumer, the snake, eats the frog. And final consumer is the hawk, who eats the snake. And lastly, when the hawk dies off, 
the body is decomposed. So we can say that the fungi is the decomposer which helps in decomposing the dead remains of plants and animals. In other words, a food chain always begins with a producer, that is green plants. The producers are then eaten by herbivores. Herbivores are in turn eaten by carnivores and omnivores. Smaller carnivores may further be eaten by large carnivores. All living organisms depend on each other for food. This interaction for food causes food chain in the environment. The addition of new animals or absence of some animals from the food chain will upset the balance in nature and may even cause other animals and plants to die. For example, if the population of carnivores in an area decreases, it will cause the population of herbivores to increase as they will no longer be hunted for food. The increased number of herbivores would eat all the plants in that area. After that, the herbivores would also die because of absence of food. Hence, all animals and plants are essential to maintain the balance in nature. Care and Concerns for Animals Animals can be protected in the following ways. Trees are the natural homes of many animals such as squirrels, monkeys, birds and many wild animals. Thus, we should avoid cutting trees so as to protect their homes. We should avoid using things made from animal skin such as leather bags, belts and fur coats to save animals. We should also take care and provide proper attention to animals. This can be done by following ways. Some animals are kept at home as pet or in farm as farm animals. We must take proper care of them. Number 1. Cleaning and bathing them regularly. Number 2. Provide adequate healthy food and clean water for them. Number three, if they fall sick, we should call a veterinary doctor to attend to them and give them vaccination on time. We must give them a clean, cozy and a comfortable shelter. We should always be kind to animals. We should give them lots of love, care and attention. Let's recap. So students, let us see that what have we learned in this lesson. Meaning of evolution and habitat, adaptation based on habitat, adaptation of the animals living on the land which belongs to the desert, polar region and the forest region. And we have also learned about the aquatic adaptation and the various kind of aquatic animals we have also learned about the amphibians, the arboreal and the aerial animals. Adaptation based on eating habits, those are again subdivided into three. They are the herbivores, carnivores and the omnivores. And lastly, we have learned about the food chain and also about care and concern for animals. Assignment Dear student, Please complete this assignment in your notebook. Paste pictures of animals and also write about their adaptive characteristic. Number A, adaptation based on habitat. Number B, adaptation based on eating habits. Thank you dear students for watching this video. Until then, stay connected.